What's going on guys? So we are still here in Michigan at the Ford Proving Grounds just outside of Detroit. Got all these Super Duties here. They have Super Duties way over there. They have more inside of the building there. They have a whole off-road course. They have a towing course. All sorts of crazy stuff going on over here. But what I want to show you today is some of the towing technology that they've integrated into this truck. Now we just finished making a video over here which shows you the, the actual scale that's in the bed of the truck and how it can determine or show you how much weight is actually resting on the back of the truck, which is super, super cool and very, very useful, especially if you plan on towing trailers such as RVs and fifth wheels, goosenecks, things like that. And then we also showed the really cool technology by adding parking sensors and a camera to the back of the tailgate so you can back up to stuff with your tailgate down and not worry about hitting things. So that is really cool technology. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and check that one out. All right, so we are now at the Pro Trailer Hitch Assistance Smart Hitch section. I think they call this a module out here at the uh, Ford Proving Grounds. They have a F-250 with a skid steer on the back of a trailer. They got an Acme construction trailer. They got a dually over here. Good looking truck. And um, what do we got going on today, gentlemen? Sounds good. So here at the station, we're gonna be going over, like you said, Pro Trailer Hitch Assist and Smart Hitch. Uh, two features that really help uh, customer pain points with uh, getting started on their towing journey. Um, primarily, Pro Trailer Hitch Assist will help um, customers align their uh, conventional trailer hitch balls to their couplers, um, something that normally would take maybe a two-person job or even uh, getting in and out of the truck uh, multiple times. And Pro Trailer Hitch Assist will automatically control the uh, steering, braking, and throttle to align hitch ball under the trailer. Um, and then we'll move over to Smart Hitch, um, where Smart Hitch will uh, help uh, the customer load their trailer properly to have a, a proper tongue weight to ensure um, a positive towing experience. Um, so both of these features will work um, separately but uh, combined together. So we'll start with the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist demonstration. Sure. Um, if you wanted to jump in. Sure. I've never backed up a trailer before, so. So if you want, before start the trailer as a little game we can uh, you can try to align the hitch ball uh, manually see how well you do okay compared to the feature was that me uh, I think that was okay. me. yeah all right so let's roll windows down I hear it's the safe thing to do mm -hmm. in reverse okay that's uh, back up your e-brake oh there it is oh, it should be yep it should be fine okay first time hitching up a trailer let's see how this turns out not too shabby at all that'll definitely uh definitely hitch up without a problem let's try this sounds here. good all right all right can uh go back to roughly the same starting position mm -hmm. All right, so to activate uh, Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, we'll start in park or reverse. Okay, let's go to reverse. Uh, so we'll start by hitting the Pro Trailer button um, on the IP up here. Right here. Yeah. Uh, the first question, is a trailer connected? In this case, it is not, so we'll hit no. no. That activates Pro Trailer Hitch Assist. Uh, it'll initialize for a moment. Uh, and this first part is a manual part of the feature. Um, it'll ask you to move the vehicle so that the trailer coupler is inside that white target. indicated to stop to confirm that is a correct trailer okay and then it, it prompts you to press and hold the pro trailer button so we'll go ahead and we'll press and hold the button um, we'll keep pressing it and then the uh, automotive maneuver will begin or the uh, automated maneuver will begin it'll automatically control the brakes throttle and steering to align the ball under the cup and if I let go of the button it'll stop correct okay As we approach the coupler, uh, once we're a couple feet away, uh, the feature will pause to prompt the driver to uh, make Raise sure the, the yep make sure the coupler height is appropriate. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Can I let go of the button? Yeah, you can let go of the button here. And it is appropriate. Well, that's so, cool. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, then hold the button down again. Yep. So we'll continue to hold the button until it prompts us to shift the park. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. And prompted to shift to park. Oh. And EPB applies, and we can go take a look at the line. Not too bad. It's in the exact same spot that I was at. Yeah, you so. did a good job. <laughs> That's uh, that's actually really cool. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting, and what makes it more practical than I thought is it's not a slow process. Yeah. Yeah, you know, typically when you see technology like this, it's so painfully slow that you're kind of like, I don't know if I would use it. And I honestly think I would use this. And, you know, I was lying to you earlier. I've probably backed up, you know, a thousand plus trailers. <laughs> but the, the reality is, is that technology like this is only as good as people who, who are willing to use the technology and and even for me it makes the process just a little simpler but for my wife for anybody else who doesn't tow a lot that is a really really cool feature um, the only I don't even really think it's a downside to it but the only the only downside I could even imagine to something like this is you do have to get it first lined up in that little box um, but it makes sense though you know what I mean you have to get that first little grid there but it's not really even a downside it's just a learning curve that said, I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed. That's cool. That was that was better than I thought it would be. That was quicker than I thought it would be. And the speed of it is the only reason why I would give it like a huge thumbs up. Awesome. If it was super slow, if it's still in the process of backing up, then I'd be like, I'm not going to use it. It's just quicker for me to back up myself. But yeah, that that's actually a very useful function, especially for people who don't normally hitch up to trailers. I could absolutely see why people would want to use that. Now, the other cool thing is, is it stops again before you get to the coupler, so you have time to raise up your coupler, which is super important. Probably the most important step you need to follow. But it does stop. It gives you time to get out of the truck, get that part done so you can drop it on there. But man, that was super cool. I appreciate it. So what else are we going to look at today? That's just one piece of it. Now we're going to go over and look at the, the skid yeah, steer. So the next step, so Pro Trail Hitch Assist will help you align the um, hitch ball to the coupler. And then next we'll go over to Smart Hitch um, to go through the uh, hitching step, uh, checklist and confirm that the uh, weight loading is proper. Let's do it.